Um. Well, I had surgery. Um. Yesterday. Um. Yeah, they got a good look at what it was, and that thing's gross. Um, they gave me pictures. I'm not gonna show them because they're gross. Uh, um, nobody wants to see how gross they are. Um, uh, anyways, yes, I did find out from the, um, I did find out, uh, when I went into pre-op yesterday that, um, yeah, they had to look up where exactly this, well, again, they had to figure out how to pronounce the, the name of the stupid cyst anyways. Um, I still don't know how to pronounce it. Um, and I'm a little too sleepy to bother figuring it out right now. Um, anyways... Um, basically what the surgeon summed it up as is, well, yeah, you're intersex, uh, yeah, you've probably got a testicle floating around in you somewhere, um, around the time that this, um, the, the tube should have disconnected because, um, basically what, from what I understand it is when you're, uh, really tiny in utero, um, you have a tube that goes out your belly button from your bladder, and that's how you pee apparently when you're tiny, uh, in utero, and typically once, um, things start to develop, uh, it, you, sh it's supposed to disappear. It's supposed to atrophy it away. Um, however, around the time when things were supposed to be, um, developing in me, obviously that, that clearly didn't happen the greatest. So I've been left with a, it was huge. It was huge. Um, I've been left with a cyst in my, um, belly button that it was confirmed it connected to my bladder. And every time the cyst would start oozing awfulness, um, I would have, uh, UTIs or something go wrong with, with my bladder. And so, yeah, uh, that I, that's what I had removed yesterday was this big giant cyst um and I say it's giant and they said oh it was probably the size of a quarter uh that's still pretty big quarters are pretty big um half dollars are bigger but oh my gosh quarters are quarters are, are, are pretty decent sized um and that thing was was connected to my belly button to my bladder and the connection was was oh my god it was huge um and the sad thing about it is is um i always thought everybody had a hole in their belly button that led inside that's uh that's how i thought things worked is everybody had a hole and this especially yesterday they were like no you're intersex, so it makes sense that you'd have this still. But they were really surprised that it didn't start giving me a lot of issues until the last year and a half, at least July 2022, is when I started having actual issues with my uh, belly button at this point. What is this? Ew. I don't know what that is. Um... So yeah, um, obviously it's a congenital deformity caused by the intersex condition and it really needed to come out. Like I said, I've seen the pictures of this thing. Um, I'm pretty sure it was 
dying at that point um, because there's there's some black sections uh, to the cyst but it, it it didn't look good and I can't imagine having to have to keep that thing in um, while trying to get my insurances squared away and stuff like that um, the insurance that I thought was gonna pay for a chunk of it said no this is a congenital thing and I'm like yeah it's congenital but in the last year and a half is when it started giving me real problems and they're still like yeah we, we don't think we're gonna pay for that um so yeah I, I, I don't know what's going on with with the other side of things but um I got rid of the cyst um, surprisingly I have uh, gone it, it doesn't burn to use the restroom anymore it doesn't burn to to, to do that um, and surprisingly my headache that I've been having for the last month month and a half is also gone so I like that um, they did go in laparoscopically along with with uh, removing the bottom of the belly button they did go in laparoscopically because there were some other concerns um, apparently this this mess that was in me was uh, also starting to affect other things um, like uh, they took a look at my gallbladder and said uh, there's some abrasions on that but it should heal up now that this thing's out so um, and I've never had gallbladder pain until May of this year maybe um, and it was it, it coincided when the belly button would get really bad again um so they told me that they're hopeful that gets squared away um uh yeah everything else outside of that looked as okay as it can look um uh, Mr. Numnut wasn't showing himself, so that's pretty. That I think that's a good thing, cause there was talk before I went in of, well, should we remove it if we find it or not? And I'm sitting there going, oh, please don't find it then. <laughs> I need that. Um, that's the only thing that's that's producing hormones. I need that. Um. So, Mr. Numnut wasn't didn't reveal itself which Mr. Numb not very rarely goes into my abdomen anymore so I like that um I like it and I don't still get squished but yeah um but yeah everything is fine and dandy and this is just one of those things that I have to, you know, I said I was coming on here and documenting uh, my intersex condition and everything that it entails and giant belly button cysts are apparently something that goes along with it. Um, that thing was huge. That thing was huge. I cannot believe how huge that thing was. and just how thickly connected it was to my bladder it was it was I don't know I think the only thing I can compare it to and something I've seen is a, a bipolar nerve cell where one end goes up here then you've got the body of the um, neuron and then it goes down into something else and uh, except that wasn't a neuron it was a giant freaking cyst um, that again looked like it was in the process of dying so <laughs> can't have dying cysts in me um, but everything else uh, outside of the gallbladder uh, looked fairly healthy um, I have no concern with anything um, everything's fine and dandy uh, just waiting for the abrasions on my uh, on the gallbladder to heal now so 
this is just all sorts of fun about being intersex. This is just one of those yay things. But I am doing I am doing better, and it's only been the second day or the day after surgery. So uh, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful everything's gonna get better from here. So.